Hi there, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your monthly astrological forecast for February 2024. And just a quick reminder for those of you who are new to this channel, you've got weekly astrology that comes out here every Tuesday. And at the end of the week, I also do weekly tarot for those of you who enjoy tarot. So if you aren't subscribed yet, might want to hit subscribe. And if you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. So what's going on when it comes to your February? February is all about inner planets pairing up for big pushes. Uh, a lot of celestial bodies are combining powers. And so this is going to be a very fast paced month for everyone. Certainly a change from maybe the more every week feeling like two weeks long as it relates to January. So whether you liked it or not, just be prepared for some accelerations. And that's what this month is really all about for you. Whirlwind victories and accelerated moves. We started all off with the Sun and Mercury in the sign of Aquarius for the first half of the month. This is your ninth house of prominence, expansion, growth, big moves, big travel, as well as official dealings, so government and legal matters, your higher education, even to a certain degree your popularity, as well as your spiritual path and practice. And this is also a huge travel space for people. When we have the Sun and Mercury together here, this is all about speeding up things that have been waiting to launch, waiting to uh, move forward for a long time. These could be things that could have been delayed, especially when it comes to long negotiations, long waiting periods, or this could be a time where a lot of you are getting a chance to take a step towards a clean break in your life because a lot of old business or a lot of old commitments or old agreements are coming up to be completed or maybe just released during this time. This is also a great period for those of you that have been looking to maybe speed up development with something that you ha are connected to that will help boost your personal or your professional life, but it is going to take you out of your comfort zone. It's going to take you into brand new territory. It's going to change the landscape of the world around you. Some of you literally, some of you figuratively, some of you both. We also have in the back half of the month, the sun and Mercury moving together into the sign of Pisces, the sun on the 18th, and then Mercury going into uh, Pisces on the 23rd. This is your 10th house of career, upward mobility, status, stations, promotions, uh, anything to do with your uh, life as it relates to raising your profile and raising your income. And when we have Pisces being occupied by both of these planets at once, there is a big push for speeding up your growth, your rise to a new position. Now, this can be speeding up the rate with which you are accumulating wealth, which is always nice to see. But you are also going to notice that a lot of these big career changes are also pushing for these whirlwind moves that are going to be going on throughout the month. You may be finding you're more in demand at the office, or you may be finding that there is an opportunity to finally clear some kind of hurdle that you've been dealing with. A lot of you are also going to find that the Sun and Mercury together are going to be speeding up and or moving up uh, the timeline, so to speak, uh, some kind of big jump, promotion, or move that maybe was always on the table but was never really set or was set for further down the road. And this is going to be a big influence also into the beginnings of March. We've got Venus and Mars together in the sign of Capricorn for the first half of the month. And this is your eighth house of shared resources, passive income, intimacy, as well as your sex life and your self-employment earnings and any kind of resources or responsibilities that you share with other people, uh, sharing with partners such as romantic partners or business partners or anybody that you have uh, a, an important sharing kind of agreement with. When we have Mars and Venus together here, 
This is going to be a time where, yes, your love life, your intimate life is getting a chance to uh, really rev up its engine. Venus is all about intimacy and affection and attention and also indulgence of fantasies. And so a lot of you may be finding that you and partners or you and romantic interests are getting an opportunity to go places you've never gone before. And Mars is bringing a touch of the carnal to everything as well. So we may also be kind of in a space where there is a bit of a devil-may-care attitude about it. Just make sure, of course, that we are staying grounded and not losing ourselves or taking any kind of unnecessary risks during this period because when these two are together in the eighth house it's very easy to forget other responsibilities we also have these two boosting a lot of income opportunities for you, especially when it comes to money that is not related to a salary or hourly income. So you may be noticing that self-employment ventures, side gigs, supplemental income such as commissions, tips, sales and incentive programs and bonuses are also on the rise. And you're also gonna find that this is a time where a lot of you are getting a chance to clear or release a lot of debts or financial holdups. As we get to the second half of the month, Mars and Venus will be in Aquarius in that ninth house of big moves and big travel and getting out into the world. Mars is going in there on the 13th and Venus will be following on the 16th. And so these two together are taking you out and away from your bubble. And a lot of the times with Mars, what's happening is there is the breaking or the eliminating of a lot of containing or bunching or controlling influences that have maybe kept you trapped in a certain routine or trapped in a certain space. This can also be a time where a lot of big contracts and commitments come up to be eliminated or swapped out or substituted or replaced. This is also a time where big travel, yes, is happening for a lot of you who want it, whether you're getting down to business this month or you're setting it up for later in the year. The same thing can also apply to big moves, migrations, and relocations. You're also going to find that uh, with Venus here, your love life is also getting a little bit more adventure in it as things take on a touch of the foreign, experimental, the exotic, and brand new for both those of you who are in romantic relationships as well as those of you who may be uh, getting a chance to explore a new one. We have a new moon in this part of your chart on the 9th, which is opening up a two-week window period from the 9th of the month through the 23rd. And a new moon in the 9th house is all about a new territory to transition yourself to, a new territory to conquer, a new space to claim as your own. And this can indicate a lot of opportunities for many of you to graduate out of a lifestyle or graduate out of a space that you have occupied. This could be precipitating a big move or transition in your home life, your personal life, or your career life, or just setting you up with an opportunity to take on some kind of grand new adventure here as well. And then finally, we also have a full moon in Virgo, your fourth house of home and family, your living situation, as well as your uh, home economy and your roots. And when we have a full moon in the fourth house, this can also be a time where there is an important chapter change or chapter closing going on in one of these areas of your world, especially taking place the last week of February going into the first week and a half or so of March. This could be a time where a lot of you are getting a chance to make a clean break with a home or family lifestyle or maybe home or family situation that you have been carrying for a long time. This could be clearing a lot of old family business, or this could be a time where a big environmental transition has a chance to get underway. And this can also indicate starting a fresh new page when it comes to your home economy or a home-based business operation that either you have been doing or you are clearing the you know the clearing the deck to get ready to engage with so that is what i've got for you gemini folks i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe you know i appreciate it and should you ever want to get a session with me you can go on ahead to my website it's integrativemysticism.com